should be it now. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so um, I will present uh, the <clears throat> status of uh, the Mocha MIP, which is about um, hot uh, Jupiters. Uh, as um, uh, Duncan uh, said, there are a lot of similarities with Camembert, but with just uh, different objects. Um, so uh, I will go quick into the introduction because yeah, I kind of uh, said that already when I presented uh, Mocha, but because for uh, hot and ultra hot Jupiter, we, we have a, a, a lot of uh, non one dimensional uh, information with phase curve, with um, uh, limb asymmetry measurements. Um, it really makes uh, sense to, um, to, to have uh, 3D models to. Uh, to to help um, uh, yeah, analyze uh, wh what we have, right? And it's been uh, quite a while. And as you can see here, uh, there, there, there are already been uh, uh, various uh, model uh, uh, published, and you you can see right away that there are some differences. So obviously, uh, we need to try to understand these uh, differences. Uh, while uh, ago, in uh, 2011, uh, I would say that uh, really the origin of trying to benchmark the planet models uh, with, uh, with Kevin Kang and collaborators. Um, so he uh, presented these benchmarks and also compare uh, the two cases, pseudospectral infinite difference uh, grids. Uh, in, in a few different cases, um, so one we are more interested uh, about as a atmosphere style uh, for uh, shallow water. So there the, the are kind of uh, similar so to to version, but uh, still still there are some differences. And the deep of Jupiter um, are uh, have even uh, more differences. So. Um, um, so yeah, it was a long time ago, and uh, obviously um, there was not been until now a very big, uh, like exhaustive effort of in intra inter model comparison. Um, and other example that I wanted to uh, talk about is a uh, Polish Chuk uh, show at et al because they. Uh, they compared a uh, few more cases, like five dyna dynamical cores, uh, several grids, and so on. And so you can see uh, from the, all the models that uh, there are very, for, for this one uh, study, uh, so it's not different groups or whatever, so they are doing that, and there are uh, a lot of uh, uh, differences. So, and um, some weird things uh, happen. And the angular momentum that has been uh, solved since then, but it's to keep in mind that we should probably keep those uh, kind of uh, diagnostics in, uh, in, our, in our head when we analyze that. So I'll go uh, up after the introducing the topic. I want uh, I'm uh, starting now on the, the status itself. So I uh, announced uh, this project uh, two, two years ago. And uh, last year, we uh, kicked it off. And we uh, decided to, uh, to explore two very different regimes of planet with uh, hot, um, simulating one uh, hot Jupiter and one uh, ultra hot Jupiter. So for the hot Jupiter, uh, we uh, choose HD 1.97 3B, which is uh, would be the similar as uh, Duncan's uh, GG 12.14B. It's one of the most uh, simulated ones uh, to now, and obviously uh, with uh, some discrepancy in, uh, between other models. And uh, we're trying to pushing a little bit. Uh, 
the models, but but not to the extreme. We choose the ultra hot Jupiter that is has been simulated already with success uh, because so, some of the ultra hot Jupiter are like just uh, very difficult uh, for uh, for uh, GCMs. Uh, as um, another um, similarity with uh, Camembert is that we, in in order to include uh, uh, the, the broader uh, majority of uh, mod models, we are uh, doing it with a hierarchy of uh, complexity in the uh, way the radiative transfer is uh, implemented. So Newtonian cooling, which is a Helter Bres one uh, like. Gel gray and uh, full radiative transfer with length dependent. Here is a table summarizing uh, the uh, contributor so far. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine models uh, with um, ver various uh, people uh, in some of the models, which is fine because sometimes uh, there is this. Um, this person uh, refers to the dual gray and this one, the Newtonian and so on. So I'm uh, all for uh, having um, uh, la la large, I mean, not large, but teams. <laughs> it's uh, obviously uh, uh, very uh, inclusive. And uh, apart from the models themselves, uh, uh, we will uh, use uh, uh, Adapt and so on. So the plotting tools from uh, Denis. So uh, and uh, uh, Thomas will do the post processing uh, to uh, comp to to produce uh, synthetic observables. We also have uh, some uh, Antoine uh, has uh, written a little something about uh, observations from the ground, which give us some constraint on the output um, we should get. Uh, but it, it would be very useful to have this kind of uh, observing expertise from our other facilities. So um, the uh, simulation cases themselves, so the um, first case uh, is a pretty, uh, pretty well uh, set up now. So as you can see from the equilibrium temperature um, figure uh, here, that uh, the hot Jupiter in uh, in blue and the ultra hot Jupiter in red have uh, like really different uh, regimes with large um, uh, temperature contrasts, uh, inversions in in the case of ultra hot Jupiter that uh, we don't necessarily have for the hot Jupiter. So uh, that's really uh, important, in my opinion, to test in these two cases. So all, all the uh, information is uh, there and ready for anyone to run the simulations, which uh, I'm kind of waiting for uh, a, a, anyone to, to provide me some of those. Uh, uh, Lucas Tatier actually uh, provided me this, uh, his uh, simulation uh, with a generic PCM. Uh, it has to be noted that uh, for, the, for this model, the uh, Newtonian relaxation scheme was uh, not implemented. So uh, Luca uh, took it on himself to implement that. So I am uh, appreciative of uh, this. Um, Effort. Uh, so as I said, the uh, only one I have until now. So wink, wink <laughs> to color to the mocha team. Uh, the case two it has also uh, more recently been uh, ready to simulate. Um, uh, LC um, fitted uh, some uh, one D model to uh, provide us uh, opacities. Uh, Opacity value needed in uh, each band. So uh, we we the case the dual gray is uh, also ready to run. 
what uh, needs to be done now is to finish uh, setting up the uh, non gray case. Uh, we kind of um, uh, narrowed down the, uh, the composition of the uh, atmosphere, but we still need to continue to discuss uh, about the chemistry if we use chem uh, equilibrium chemistry or not, this, uh, this is some questions that is left out from uh, last month's uh, meeting. Um, so uh, apart from finishing the case three, case three uh, we need to include some initial simulation. So as has been said before, we don't want uh, the full set of simulation for the protocol paper, but a uh, uh, few of uh, them um, would be uh, welcome. And, and uh, also including the paper would be some consideration about uh, observable and so on, but like also not probably the full uh, the full set that we want to include in the in the result paper later on. So I have the ambitious um, uh, I I mean goal of. Uh, aiming at uh, submitting before the end of the year because my, my current position position ends so it would really be uh, a lot easier if I can uh, submit through my uh, current institution and uh, yes so as um, as a, other, other groups uh, we are still welcoming new uh, new members so uh, please reach out to me uh, through Slack is maybe the, the best, especially if I change email in. Uh, as far as um, synergy, so obviously uh, I have, we have been, I mean, we are still learning from uh, Camembert's uh, uh, problems. So, which is obviously uh, a very comfortable situation to do that after uh, welcoming his team. And um, obviously, uh, as, as he said, there are a lot of uh, groups that are in both. So, uh, so uh, it's obviously a natural uh, synergies there. Uh, when we will have a simulation and want to jump to uh, simulate observable, obviously, uh, Malbec is uh, uh, the uh, best candidate to, to, to discuss that. And uh, finally, uh, if we want to compare 3D and 1D, uh, there are synergy with uh, uh, Kodaka. Uh, and uh, that's it. <coughs> that is my presentation. Thank you, Nicholas. Um, does anyone have any questions? While people thinking, uh, I can ask a question. So uh, do you envisage any direct connections to uh, observations? For this planet, um, there, um, uh, yes. So the the thing is that because we are setting up the protocol to maximize uh, comparison, obviously some of those are pretty synthetic and not directly uh, uh, so in the best physical way, right? But uh, I think at the very least, we would like to, to say, okay, we have these differences between this model and these different differences could really translate to differences in uh, spectra we observe or not. You know, if we're like, okay, we have this broad range of uh, GCMs that are totally all over the place, but in the end, uh, they, we get the same phase curve, which is obviously like, Probably not true, but uh, that's an extreme case. Uh, it's uh, like 
yeah, okay. So, um, systematic errors of the simulations don't really translate into uh, observational differences, right? So that's how I see that. But I would also like to have maybe some uh, more observable people in the team because that I'm I'm really not. So I I uh, appreciate any uh, feedback from those those people. Yeah. With all due respect. <laughs> Okay, thank you, uh, Thomas. Yeah, uh, yeah, thank you, Nico, for uh, this great talk. Uh, I wanted to follow up on that from the uh, observation point of view, or at least humility observation. So Nico and I had some discussion with uh, Antoine Darvo Bernier from the University of Montreal on um, how we could also include um, simulated observation from the ground at very high uh, spectral resolution be like resolving power of 100,000 or something like that. Um, because if we do that, a different point of the of the of the, um, of the orbit, so having sort of phase curve, we are likely going to have different diagnostics from what we would observe with web in transit or emission or anything. So we put a paragraph into that in the in a protocol paper regarding the uh, high resolution from the ground. Uh, how we can constrain temperature profile or different uh, abundances. So feel free to to look at it as well and uh, add some stuff into it if you have some uh, some idea. Or this could be uh, really useful to complement um, simulated observation from from space. But but what, one of the advantage um, of having to post process anyway. So thing is that the simulations are there and then whatever we need uh, for uh, observation templates or whatever, it's in the post-processing phase, okay? We choose which resolution we want. And so GCMs are done, and that's now another step. We don't need to rerun anything else. So uh, I find that- uh, Yeah. Yeah, and I think- That, we... that helps in, in that way. Yeah, I'm thinking there is a nice paper by Matteo Brogi who, uh compare and combine uh, it was VLT and HST measurement and Spitzer as well together showing that when you combine all those data, those, those data you get a, a better uh, global picture of the planet. So I think here it's uh, for hot Jupiter it's a good uh, opportunity to, to simulate ground observatories as well. All right, yeah, and there are some uh, nice comments uh, from Elsie and, and Tad in, in the chat. Uh, that, that's why <laughs> was 121 was chosen uh, as one of the targets uh, because it has one of the best um, set of observations. So thank you. Um, all right, any other questions, comments, complaints? Okay, um, well, means we can um, go for lunch or dinner or whatever a bit earlier. Um, so we'll see you uh, again uh, here in 45 minutes at um, 1.30 uh, Eastern time. So uh, use the same Zoom link and we'll uh, take it from there. Thank you all for coming.